fight! <laughs> Flawless victory! Yo, I dead feel like a samurai or Chung Lee up in this robe. What's good, Bellamicia gang? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to deep condition your hair. Like, I'm gonna show you guys the best method for deep conditioning your hair that I've used through my whole transitioning process and that I'm still using today as a natural. So in my last video, I shared five tips with you guys that helps you transition to natural fast. I'm not talking about no three, four year whole transition and I'm talking about in under one year. So if you guys have not yet seen that video, I'm going to leave the link in the right hand corner and I'm also going to put it in the description box down below. I am about to go wash my hair. As you can see, my hair is looking all types of crazy. Um, yeah, it's dirty. <laughs> But I'll be right back to show you guys how I deep condition my hair. Alright guys, so I just finished washing my hair. I have it up in this microfiber towel thingy that I got from like the 99 cent store. And I'm just about to take my hair out and let you guys see how it looks freshly washed. It smells so slam good. So the deep conditioner that I'm going to use is actually one of my favorite deep conditioners ever that I've been using while I was transitioning and I still use it today. It's Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And whenever I deep condition, I always, always, always use an oil. I just find that it just makes my hair so much softer, so moisturized. It's just amazing. I'm gonna use the matching oil to the deep conditioner that I just showed you guys. So the first thing I do before I apply any product to my hair, but especially deep conditioner, is I section my hair for. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that this is what I do. It's my thing. Um, it just makes your hair easier to manage, especially if you have, you know, a lot of hair or your hair is like thick. And it just ensures that everything gets coated evenly. And that's what we want while we're deep conditioning. We want to make sure that we get every single strand. I feel like my hair naturally parts in four because I do it so much. I don't know, it's weird. So you always want to make sure that your hair is at least damp before you add your deep conditioner. So I'm just gonna drench this section and work the water through it. And I'm gonna detangle my hair starting from the bottom and working my way up. And then you wanna grab your deep conditioner. <laughs> you wanna grab a deep conditioner that's full cause ain't nothing in here. But luckily, I got a backup. <laughs> So I'm just going to scoop out what's left in here to finish it off. So basically what I do for each section is I take like a heaping scoop of deep conditioner. I rub it in my hands and I start from the bottom because it's the oldest part of your hair and work my way up. That's the first thing I do just to get the deep conditioner working into my hair. I smooth it in there, use the praying hands method, you know, coat it. And you mostly want the deep conditioner to be at the ends of your hair. You want to get a generous amount and just work it in your um, your hair shaft, your ends. I think that's like the biggest mistake that a lot of naturals do. They just take the product and add it to the front. And I learned that from my beautician. And I'm guilty of doing that too. In the video where she straightened my hair, if you guys haven't seen that, my um, silk press video, I'll just link it somewhere over here or in the description box down below. But basically, um, my beautician was saying that that's the biggest mistake that she has seen a lot of her clients do. And I have to agree, because I'm one of them. So after you take a generous amount of deep conditioner and apply it to the ends of your hair, work it all over your hair, now we're going to take the comb and we're going to part it in even smaller sections. So, you guys remember when you used to get perms or whatever, and you used to put the perm like here, and here, and then you would part it and put it on there? That's basically what we're doing. So, add your deep conditioner as you would add your perm. And this just ensures that um, each strand of your hair is coated with the deep conditioner. So, you see I got a little amount. I'm just going to distribute it first on my ends, and then work it all the way up to my roots. Another thing I like doing too, just to make sure that each strand is coated, 
is just separate that small section into even smaller sections because you really want to make sure you get every strand of your hair coated with the deep conditioner. That's the goal at the end of the day. No strand left behind, okay? And just look how my hair is absorbing all this thickness. And when I say thickness, I'm talking about the deep conditioner. I always reach for the thick deep conditioners. I don't really like the watered down ones. The thick ones always do my hair justice. So I'm separating my hair into smaller sections. And all I'm doing is raking the deep conditioner through my hair. And then you just do the same thing. You just part off a smaller section. And you take like a dime size amount. Start from your ends and work your way up. And then you wanna separate that section into smaller sections. I guess you could call it subsections. And you just wanna rake the deep conditioner through your hair. So my next step after you finish applying the deep conditioner to each strand of your hair, just ensuring that each strand is covered, is to add the oil. Rub it in my hand, get it warmed up, and then we're going to use the praying hands method. You guys know, like whenever I apply a product to my hair, the praying hands method works every single time. So you just coat your hands with the oil and you start from the ends and you just run your hands over your hair strands just like that. And you see that bounce back though, shorty? Ew, ew. And the oil just locks and seals everything in. Make sure you cover the end of your hair with the oil. All right, so just to take this out of the way, I'm just gonna twist it, leave it like that, and do the same exact thing on the back. This is how the hair looks with no deep conditioner. She's dry, waiting to be moisturized. And this is how the side looks with the deep conditioner. Damn! Moisturize, you know, ready to party. When people ask you why you need to deep condition, just turn your head and be like, BAM! Do you see the difference? Like, seriously, why, why is anyone not deep conditioning? It makes no sense to me. Like, the proof is in the pudding. What? The proof is in the results, honey. Like, look at this. Like, BAM! All right, so I'm just gonna repeat the same steps on the other side of my hair. Has anyone heard Drake's album yet? It's not bad. It's really not bad. If you heard Drake's album, in the comment section, tell me what are your favorite songs. Right now, I'm really digging, I think, In My Feelings. That song is, I was in the shower like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> nah, that song is lit. So who's going to Curl Fest this year? Comment down below if you're in the New York area or you're not and you're going to Curl Fest. Honest to God, like, this is sad to say but I've never been nor have I ever heard of it. Yeah, but I went in the store the other day and this girl, she was complimenting my hair and she was like, hey, are you going to Curl Fest? And I'm like, Curl Fest? Like... What is that? Nah, I truly did not know what it was. And she was telling me that it's like this big festival for girls with curly hair, afro, like natural hair. And when they all link up at Prospect Park and just, you know, talk about hair. And I was like, word? And she was like, yes. And I was like, okay, you go. And she was like, nah. I was like, damn. But yeah, she's not going. But I'll be there. <laughs> this is going to be my first curl fest. So I'm very excited. So if you plan on going, leave it in the comment section down below so I can meet you guys. So for the last step, what I like to do is just pin up the twist. Oh my God, I forgot about 
take all four twists and just pin it up in the center of my head. And sorry if you guys hear a young gentleman speaking, yelling in the background. My man is playing his video game, so yeah. So I pin up the twist in the center of my head and then I put on a shower cap. But if you have like a plastic bag or I don't know, a Ziploc bag, you could just put it on there, girl. All we're trying to do is trap the heat inside of the shower cap so the deep conditioner can penetrate through our hair follicles. That's the whole point of a deep conditioner. You want every strand to be covered. You can strengthen your hair, give your hair more moisture, prevent breakage, you know, frizziness, all that good stuff, okay? I'm gonna go sit under my hooded dryer for about a half hour. If you don't have like a sit under dryer, you can always just, I don't know, walk around the house for like 30 minutes just with the cap on. You could go in your shower and go shower and let the heat from the bath just steam it up. You can put a hot towel on it. You can grab a blow dryer, just blow a hot heat on it for about a half hour. Like there's so many different ways that you can add heat. So I'm about to go do that and I'll check in with you guys later. Peace. Okay, so just ignore the fact that my shirt is like soaking wet right now. As you can see, I just finished rinsing out the deep conditioner out my hair. But you guys, these results are everything. Like my hair is shiny, soft, bouncy. Like there is no denying that deep conditioner is the gold. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this? Look at that movement. Stiff hair where? 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 My scalp is super squeaky clean. My hair color is so rich and my curls are so happy. Like, I just need a moment of silence just to soak this all in. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions about deep conditioning, like the do's and don'ts, or anything related to hair, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!